Hello everyone, this is Computer Science 0478 and in this session here I'm going to uh, introduce a pseudocode solution for the pre-release material 2022 May-June paper 2 variant 1 You may know that the pre-release material has three tasks Task 1, Task 2, Task 3 When you receive the pre-release material at your school with the three tasks you need to practice how to solve these three tasks whether to do this by yourself or with the help of the teacher in this video I'm going to try to give you uh, an introduction of how to solve it and we're going to go through task one as well in the exam you may receive questions asking you about how you did this specific task or how uh, you may explain also uh, this part of the task Be careful some questions might ask you not to write the pseudocode, but to explain Explanation question in the explanation question. You should not write the pseudocode itself But you need to explain how you have solved this part of the task In general your answer must include important points the first thing, you must include appropriate prompts for the entry of data. What do you mean by a prompt here? For example, a user needs to input a value. You need to show a message to him by the print statement, for example. Print, for example, what is your name? This is appropriate prompt. Also, you must validate the data entry, must be validated after your input. For example, the value is the, the, valid, the acceptable value should be between 0 and 10. So you must validate the user accurately input a value between 0 and 10. Not more, not less, not any other uh, character. Also, be careful when you are declaring or using any variables. These variables must have meaningful names. Avoid to use x, y, and so on. The value, the variable should have meaningful names. One another last thing. All outputs, including the error messages, need to be set out clearly. These are most important things you should, ca should take care of when you are uh, writing your answer or whenever you are practicing with the pre-release material. Now let's start to solve the first task, which is task one. Okay. Now you need to set up the, the task one here, becoming a member of uh, Friends of CView uh, Pyre. You need to set up the system to enable uh, people to become members of the uh, or uh, of Friends of the. of the CView peer and for each new member enter their first name and last name so you should have a prompt here to input the first name and last name and for sure you cannot uh, have a variable without declaring this variable so take care of variable declarations whether or not they wish to work as a volunteer also if they choose to be a volunteer, enable area from the peer entrance gate, the gift shop, painting and decorating. So the volunteer will choose to work on one of these uh, areas. Also, you must uh, accept and store the date of joining, whether or not uh, they have paid the 75 fees. So every member must pay the 75 fees and you must also uh, accept the input of 75 fees or not all of this information need to be stored using suitable data structure data structure here might be like for example any variable or it could be as we are going to use in our solution as you have learned before the array data structure Okay, as you know that 
you cannot use any variables here without declaring these variables let's say for example I'm going at the beginning it's required here to uh, for every member they need to uh, enter their first name and last name so for example you must prompt this is a prompt here prompt message you must prompt every user to input his name print input the first and last name of the new member so you will have here a message and then input first last name this is the variable that will uh, store the, the first and last name and also you must declare this as uh, following here in the beginning declare first last name as string the data type here is a string data type this is the variable name as you can see it's meaningful it has a meaningful name also you need to store every first and last name in a data structure known as array so we have an array here known as first last name and the the, the user input from the pre previous line here will be stored in the uh, current location or position in this array first last name array so also I have declared another array with the data type of a string and for example I give a uh, number of uh, elements inside the array ranging from 1 to 100 so this array will accept uh, till 100 uh, members now for this reason I'm going for example to use the for to next loop and I'm going to use the counter of the loop as this the same as the index here the index of the array okay counter is the same as the loop variable here so let's say for example we will start from counting from one so the value the, the value of counter here will be one when it's two this va uh, value will change to two and then three up till 100 okay so the name you input will be stored in the position in array which looks like this thing one two three up till 100 every name will be stored in uh, current position of the loop now whether or not uh, they wish to work as a volunteer so you must also show to the uh, to the member if he if he wants to work as a volunteer or not print do you wish to work as a volunteer and then the user may input true or false and then uh, he will input true or false and this value will be stored in the volunteer or not volunteer or not also should be declared as a variable of the data type boolean as you know that the boolean data value uh, variable could also receive true or false values only then when he chooses to uh, to be a volunteer or not okay uh, then this value which is which could be true or false would be stored in this array volunteer or not so declared as an array okay then a question or a prompt message might be their input join date as a member okay um, input, then he will input the join date and this join date will be stored in the array join date that also I have declared uh, earlier there then another question here whether he paid the 75 fees uh, or not then do uh, do you wish to pay the membership fees uh, $75 true or false he will input a value true or false okay this value will be stored in the array paid 75 or not which also I have declared earlier there as you may see that the for to next loop will repeat for 100 times for the 100 members as an example now for the task one in case that the user has selected true here to work as a volunteer if he uh, a volunteer or not variable has the value of true I mean that the user selected to be a volunteer then print choose the member of the area uh, the number of the area okay from one 
uh, or two or three so he has three options uh, to be selected now if the user is selected to work as a peer okay so that's why I have a case statement case volunteer area of this is the variable name okay he will input volunteer area here with whether he selected one the peer entrance gate or two the gift shop three painting and decorating he will choose one of these values by its number if he selected one okay if he selected one in case he, that he selected one here so I'm going to store one in the volunteer area uh, uh, array that also I have declared on top here volunteer area this is the array as the integer data type if he selected one as uh, uh, the peer entrance so one will be stored in the array if he selected two then two will be selected also as the volunteer area or three this is for later use uh, when I want to check uh, whether he uh, selected one or two or three otherwise print uh, please enter a valid choice this is uh, this line here could be could be used as a validation check also and then end case we have case statement here instead of the uh, having the if condition now this will repeat until volunteer area is greater than uh, one and volunteer area is less than or equal to three there's also another validation check here so this loop will repeat okay repeat whenever he inputs any other value rather than this if the user inputs any value from one to three then this loop will terminate and then uh, the program will uh, will finish for this part that's all for task one and uh, i wish you a pleasant time bye bye